friends, and welcome back to Adventure Kids. I have a question for you. Have you ever wanted to have a superpower? Maybe you really wanted to fly, or like superhuman strength, or invisibility. Well, I have something to tell you. Today, we are talking about how God is so powerful. He is more powerful than any superhero you will ever see in a movie or a comic book. So let's keep on watching and see what happens. Hello friends, it's Christy here. And Lena. And I have a question for you. Can you think of a time in the Bible where someone has done something awesome through God's power? Hmm, there's a few. Absolutely, there's hundreds. And today's Bible verse is all about how that power we can have that too because of God. So get your hands ready, get your faces ready. Let's do a Bible verse. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Ephesians 3 verse 20. With God's power working in us. With God's power working in us. God can do much, much more. God can do much, much more. Than anything we could ask or think of. Than anything we could ask or think of. Exactly. Let's do it again to get it stuck in your heads. <laughs> Ephesians 3 verse 20. Ephesians 3 verse 20. With God's power working in us. With God's power working in us. God can do much, much more. God can do much, much more. Than anything we could ask or think of. Than anything we could ask or think of. Thank you. It's true, right? So true. I love that. Keep on speaking that truth over your life. What's going on, everyone? Hey, why don't you stand to your feet right now? Get ready to jump, get ready to sing, get ready to dance. called Savior? Have you heard of His perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how He gave His Son? Cause I have found this love and I believe this Son. Show me your way.
Come on, kids, let's sing together. Let's worship our incredible God. Peace like a river, wash over me. Immerse me in water as deep as the sea. healing embrace peace like a river wash over me as I worship your majesty I worship your holy name Jesus my
Adventure Kids, let's pray together. Thank you, God, for every child who is listening today. I pray your blessing and your protection over them and help them to understand your truth through my words. Amen. Can you say amen with me? Awesome. Well, I have loved this series called But God that we have been talking about. We've had some amazing miracles that God has made happen. In fact, I can actually see some of them here. We've got the loaves and the fishes that Jesus, He was like, oh, there's a little bit. I can make it a lot. And then over here, we've got that house where the friends lowered their friend into the roof and he was healed. That was pretty amazing. And today, we have another blockbuster story for you. I wanna start by asking you a question though. Have you ever felt stuck? Maybe you had a cold and you're lying on the couch and your nose is running and you're all snuffly and you're like, Mom, can you get me a drink of water? I'm stuck. Or maybe you were learning a new thing at school and it was just so difficult and you can't get it into your head. And you're like, oh, what is the difference between a noun and a pronoun anyway? Oh, I'm so stuck. Well, the good news is today's Bible story is about some people who were also a little bit stuck and how God's power helped them. Today, I'm reading from the Bible in the book of Acts. So in the book of Acts, a lot of stuff had happened already. See, Jesus had come to earth, helped people die, saved people and come alive again. Pretty awesome. And gone back to heaven. Holy Spirit had come and helped people in a big way. And all over the world, people were traveling and telling others about the good news of Jesus. So that's where we pick up today. Paul and Silas were two guys who were traveling around telling others about Jesus. But some stuff was going wrong. See, what happened is that they went into a new town and were telling people, hey, guess what? Jesus loves you. Did you know that Jesus saves you? I would love to tell you about it. And there were people who were getting really, really mad about it. I don't understand fully why, but they would yell at Paul and Silas. They actually hurt Paul and Silas and beat them up. It was really, really bad. Let's read what happens in Acts 16, verse 23. Paul and Silas, they were whipped without mercy and then they were thrown into prison. The jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received his orders, he put Paul and Silas deep inside the prison. He fastened their feet so they wouldn't get away. That sounds awful. Imagine being chained up because you just want to tell people about Jesus. Paul and Silas must have felt so stuck. They were stuck in prison. They were stuck by their their feet and maybe their hands. They were stuck because how are we going to tell others about Jesus now? They must have been also feeling stuck because they would have been hurting and probably feeling sick as well. Let's see what happens next. About midnight. Paul and Silas were praying and they were also singing hymns to God. You know, I don't actually know what songs they were singing. It doesn't say here. But when I'm feeling sad, there is a song that really helps me. It's called Million Little Miracles. Do you want to sing it with me if you know it? Yeah? I've got miracles on miracles, a million little miracles. The other prisoners were also listening to them. Miracles on miracles, count your miracles, one, two, three, four, I can't even count them all. And suddenly there was a powerful earthquake. 
Miracles are miracles, a million little miracles. What happens next? That shook the prison from top to bottom. All at once the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. A million little miracles. One, two, three, four, I can't even count them all. That is amazing. Can you imagine that? God saw they were in prison and He sent an earthquake that didn't hurt them, but that broke their chains loose. That is God's power at work. Can you say a big wow? Wow, that is amazing. You know, this really reminds me of our series, But God. Sometimes things look impossible, but God comes through. Sometimes it looks like you can't do something on your own, but God helps us. Sometimes you feel really stuck, but God helps you get unstuck, just like He did for Paul and Silas. You know, I really hope that neither of us are going to get stuck in chains. But, you know, sometimes we do get stuck in other things. Maybe the things that you get stuck in is like fear. Or maybe you get stuck in anxiety. Maybe you get stuck in shame or regret. Or how about loneliness and anger? All of those things can make us feel so stuck on the inside. But here's the thing. God doesn't want us to stay stuck. He wants us to have freedom and He helps us and He is more powerful than any of those feelings of shame or regret or anger or anxiety. All of those things, He is so much stronger than that. So how do we break free of all of those things that make us feel stuck? Well, we can definitely pray, talk to God. Absolutely. Sometimes we can also get other people to pray for us. That's really powerful. Or how about speaking God's truth over your life? Why do you think we're teaching you memory verses all the time? It's to help you just as much as to help you understand things, but you can also use it in your life. Or how about singing? How about saying worship at things like, like that song, A Million Little Miracles? For me, when I feel really down and I feel stuck, I sing it out. <laughs> I know it doesn't always sound very good. I'm not a professional singer, but I don't really care because I know that God doesn't care. And when I sing that song, I think of all of the things that God has done in my life. I am so grateful for that. And it helps me to stop looking at myself and the problems that I feel. And it helps me to, to look at Jesus instead. Isn't that wonderful? God wants us to be in amazing freedom and He has the power to make that happen. So good. Okay, there is just one more thing. Sometimes we don't feel close enough to God to break free out of the things that get in the way. So if you don't feel close to God right now, I would love to pray for you. Sometimes um, we say these prayers at the end of messages. And I want to ask you, if you've never prayed with us, why don't you pray now? All we're going to do is say, thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done. And I want to change my life and be best friends with you forever. Okay, let's all pray together. And if you want to, you can really mean it in your heart. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love me. I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done. Please forgive me. Thank you for saving me. I want to be your friend forever. I choose you, Jesus. Amen. 
Wow, awesome. I am so proud of you if you really meant that from your heart, whether it's your first time or your hundredth time. I love that for you. If you want to talk to us, please do. Don't keep it to yourself. Talk to a parent or a trusted adult or one of us leaders at Adventure Kids. We think you are awesome and we really want to journey with you. Okay, so this week, when you feel stuck, when you feel like there is too many feelings or too many situations that are out of your control and you really wish you had superpowers to overcome them, remember you do. You have God's power on your side. Can you say that with me? Say God's power on my side. Yeah, awesome. Keep remembering that and have an amazing week. See ya.